So tell me your name and what do you guys do for a living? My name is Van Neistat and I'm a filmmaker. Um, Casey, I'm Van's brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I was listening to the radio on 1010 Winds and they do the traffic report every like 10 minutes and they said there was a 35 minute delay in the Holland Tunnel and I, had, I think I just started riding my bike in the city and I knew that the tunnel was about a mile and a half long and that you could do it in like 10 minutes at the most. And then I went through it took five. Over, the, over a long enough period of time, the bicycle is definitely the fastest mode of transportation in New York. I ride a motorcycle too and you can get from point A to point B faster. And you're um, yogurt versus gasoline. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. So, I don't know where the idea came from, but I think Casey had just gotten a new motorcycle, and the race was, can a bicycle beat a motorcycle over the course of like 100 blocks in the city? And uh, we just did it one morning during rush hour so the bicycle would have a chance and I won on the bicycle by like 10 minutes. It was as fast as we could go. Like I was on the motorcycle and it was just like, when you're stuck in midtown traffic, there's nothing you can fucking do. You're just stuck in midtown traffic. Just, even though I was on a motorcycle, I could get in between some of the cars who were just stuck. I ride a bike because it's the only way to get me from my apartment to this office without dealing with anyone. Yeah. I don't have to go through a turnstile, I don't have to buy a car, I don't have to hail a cab, I don't have to do anything except for get on my bike and ride here. And I think the reason most people don't do it is the security issue. I just wish the police were more concerned with um, securing bicycles. And the problem isn't with the thieves. Thieves will always exist, they always have. It's the, it's the way, in my experience, the police respond to it. If you walk into a police station and my bicycle has been stolen, you get laughed out the door. Mm. They'll make the report, they'll do whatever, but there is no effort made. Um, and that's what that movie Bike Thief was about. I mean, we're literally stealing bikes in public with the most like obnoxious tools we could possibly use, like the most conspicuous tools we could ever use. But the irony of that film was that I was a block and a half away with a zoom lens filming Van stealing a bike, stealing his own bike. And the police literally went by him and come over to me and ask me what I'm filming for, why I'm filming, why I have a camera. Right. And they say, you can't film here. And he's literally stealing a bike. And for all intents and purposes, he's breaking through a lock and taking a bike. What kind of inspired you guys to like start doing films and dealing with this issue? I mean, just anger. Like just it's, it's all we got, you know? It's all we got. You get frustrated. What are you supposed to do, bitch about it? or? kind of show what's going on. I think that's what it was for me. Did you get a lot of good response from them? Like the videos so far? Or? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a way to communicate something. Like we've told this story, we're telling you right now all these stories to so many people. Anyone who rides a bike always has a bike story to tell. Um, but like by making that movie about like bike thieves, bikes being stolen, it's just, it's a way for everybody to be able to see exactly what we're talking about. And like nobody cares about bicyclists, really. I mean, that's what it feels like. This, the laws and the ways this, the streets are set up are not to protect bicyclists. And this city was, yeah, built around cars and that's the way it is. And I don't think cars are the problem. I think what Bloomberg's trying to do with taxing cars from the city is brilliant. The problem is the, it's the lazy, it's when you see one person in a car. So that's like the significant percentage of people are commuters that, that drive all the way into the city. And that's okay if that has to happen, but they should pay for that. They should be paying a lot of money for that. And then that money should add, you know, that money should come around and make it easier for us.